My name is Lamorna Osborne and I'm the president of the Amateur Beekeepers Australia, which was started in 1954 by Colonel Pulling to promote the cooperation between home amateur beekeepers, professional beekeepers and scientists to better beekeeping standards in Australia. As of last year, we had over four and a half thousand members in 35 clubs, including as far north as southeast Queensland and as far west as Alice Springs. This has been a huge swelling in amateur beekeepers numbers since 2009 when we had just over 300 members. The ABA club supports both individual members and clubs. We provide support for individuals by providing them with a newsletter, up-to-date information generally and insurance, we provided the biosecurity code hard copy when it came out to individuals and we also provided the sugar shaker which was useful in detecting varroa. We also provided the bee brood uncapping tool which we believe to have been a better diagnostic tool to look at the spread of varroa. For clubs we also provide grants that helps clubs to get speakers and pay for their travel and accommodation or they can use the money to pay for equipment that is helpful to them. We also provide IT backup and a website which is undergoing refurbishment at the moment. We also provided just recently samples of Varroa mite in resin which will help clubs to let their members see what Varroa looks like for real when they've never seen it before. It has been a year of grief and frustration. The grief really the math euthanasia of hives in an effort to eradicate varroa mite has been palpable and painful for those who may have been participating as volunteers and as victims and some have lost livelihoods. Now in the management phase the ABA wants to provide support to those people and I have personally and my club in Illawarra has offered to supply nucleus hives to those who want to restart once the legislation has been decided on. There have been many frustrations this year regarding uh, incidents in the execution of the eradication plan, uh, too numerous to mention here, but they were heard and listened to at least by this association. The reluctance of DPI to listen to beekeepers' suggestions and provide accurate answers to our questions was disappointing. And the refusal of DPI to provide a university with Varroa for genetic testing was also disappointing. We had to import the Varroa in resin, which we have sent to clubs, from overseas, despite there being much in sample labs here in New South Wales. However, we've asked for a meeting with the Minister for Agriculture and are waiting on a date to be set. On a positive note, seven members of the ABA went to Chile this year in September, self-funded, to attend the two-yearly Worldwide Apimondia Conference. We discussed varroa management with countries that have been doing it for decades and are still managing to pollinate and to produce honey. We we're also surprised to hear that southern Italy and the EU are terrified of their incursion of small hive beetle, which we have managed successfully here in Australia for over 20 years. Over the next year, we are here to provide support and structure for beekeepers at a very reasonable fee of $25 plus 20 for insurance if you want it. We are lobbying actively for more active listening from government departments. Use in beekeeping and may the force be with you.